What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond walkthrough, yes! And another episode of our birthday marathon, day one. Yes guys, good old Draven. Well, he's getting old, yeah. 32 years old, yeah, that's right guys. I'm trying to figure that one out. Where has the time gone? I don't know. Anywho, in our last episode, we went through another, uh... We went through another lake, and yes, uh, somebody besmirched the honor of my uh, my dear Don. And now, it's finally time for us to go to Snow Point, because there's another lake. Yeah, there's another lake. And because we're quote-unquote good friends, we have to check up on Barry to see if nothing wrong's happened to him. So, here we are in Celestic Town, and I do believe this is the area right here where you can actually get to the, well, to the area, well, to the place where you can actually, you know... You can you can get out of here or something like that. I don't even know. Uh, you can get to Snow Point City and all that crud. And the good thing about it now is that we actually have the surf technique, so we can actually yeah we can actually get the you know get to moving and all that stuff. There is just one more move that we actually need to grab. And why do I need a plant a flower? I don't even know. Now make sure to bring a lot of repels, guys, because uh, yeah, there's gonna be a lot of Pokemon that. You're going to be encountering and all that crud. And, uh, let's see. Yes, I, I did bring myself quite a few repels, so we're going to be good. In the original games, yeah, this, uh, what was it? Uh, Mount Coronet. Mount Coronet and going into Snow Point City. Never really my favorite areas in the whole wide world. Why? Because, well, shoot. Um, yeah, it, it was always, it, I think it was because it was always slow. Like, just moving uh, towards that area, and, uh, okay, let's move. Move this thing. So, now that we got all the HM moves and crud, we can actually just, uh, start discovering some stuff right here. And, well, let's see. Grab that. Grab that. And I'm pretty sure we can actually find some, uh, some pretty, uh, rare items as well, so I don't even know. Alright, let's break this. And there it is. Grab this, and we found ourselves another rare candy, which we could probably use on another Pokemon. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and see how many rare candies do I have. Let's see. Rare candies. Actually, it's... Uh, wait, where is it? Uh, okay, let's go ahead and actually... Let's sort by type. It's always easy to, to find. And uh, let's see. We have seven rare candies, huh? So if I give seven rare candies to Toothless, it could evolve. Thinking, I'm thinking, I'm plotting, I'm plotting. And oh yeah, I completely forgot about the the stones that I have right here. Oh yeah, that's another thing too. We kind of need to evolve another Pokemon, and uh, well, you know, we'll see what we'll see what happens. And wow, <laughs> make sure to get max repels too, guys. Okay, so going through here, obviously there's a lot of fog, and well, um, let's see. Let's go ahead and use this defog right here. Don't go through this area without defog, guys, because if you if you go through this with with, with fog and all that crud, then yeah, you're you're gonna be you're gonna be totally inaccurate. And there's nothing worse than going through a whole thing with a, no accuracy at all. And we're breaking this, and we are getting ourselves our good old Stardust, so we can actually sell some stuff right here. And well, let's see, this is all new. That is. That looks like an island. Kind of like an island. And, well, let's go right ahead and swim around. Swim around a little bit. See what we can actually find right here. And, well, there's items all around. But I kind of want to see what this this thing right here is. And, yes, we're going to have to use another repel. Look at that. Okay, so we have found a light clay, which probably... Well, what does a light clay do? It won't tell us. Okay, never mind. Okay, so let's move on right here, and let's see. We got to get more items right here. Can't you can't go wrong with free items. The goal is to find that stone that will evolve my Rosemon right here. That way, it can become a more powerful Pokemon in Rose Raid, right? Yes, it will. And well, let's go ahead and press this. And bam. And let's see. We're okay. Yeah, we're, we're getting rid of this whole repel stuff right now. And, well, here we found ourselves a soft sand. Not too bad. And, let's see, right here? Nope, nothing. Let's go right ahead and find what, what else we can actually find. Okay, so, yeah, birthday time, guys. And 
let's see. I really, I really don't, I really don't know what else I could say except that you know, my birthday. Yeah, it's another year. It's I'm grateful to still be here, especially on YouTube, guys. Um, of course, you've guys already seen the evolution, the progress that I've made right here onto my channel. Um, I don't know how many of you guys have been there since the very, very, very beginning. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have none of those subscribers, or they're probably not. They probably don't even know that I still exist or anything. But you know. From looking back to right now, I, I think I think I've actually you know I feel like I've actually done uh, some pretty good right here. I'm actually very proud of how my, my channel's progressed. They get it, you know, 10,000, 11,000 subscribers. You know, that's that's something right there. Uh, you know, when the pandemic started, <laughs> I was only at 6,000, 6,000 subscribers, guys, and that was because I was in a bit of a rut. And since then, wow, 6,000 more. Five, six thousand more guys. Uh, yeah, I'm just uh, you know again. I'm grateful, grateful for you guys to actually keep on watching my my channel and all that. And look at that, we found ourselves another rare candy. Which, well, you know what? I'm tempted to. You know what? I am tempted, but I kind of don't want to because I kind of feel like I need those rare candies for something else. And well, we found ourselves another HP up. And well, let's see. Let's go right ahead. And here we are in the outside. Route 216, guys. Route 216. This place is a. Uh... Yeah, this is not one of my favorite places in the whole wide world. You can actually, you can actually skip through most of these trainers right here just to get to uh, to Snow Point City. And as you can see at the very top, you won't be able to go to those trainers until you've gotten Rock Climb or you've gotten all eight badges. And well, there's a trainer right there. So let's go ahead and start battling. Let's go ahead and uh, just uh, do the battling right here. And wait, what am I doing? Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and battle. All right. I'm fully kitted up and equipped. Anytime we'll be fine. Okay, alrighty. So yeah, like I said, guys, I'm very grateful for another year, another, you know, and uh, just uh, everything that has been going on. A few episodes ago, I've mentioned to you guys that you know at the start of the year, I've, I've, you know, I've set out to invest in myself just a little bit more um, everything from you know work wise uh, personal personal life wise um, even right here on YouTube you guys have seen it you guys have seen me get a new um, get a new computer get a new uh, get a whole bunch of new equipment get a studio and just uh, you know just pretty much up the up the the level of uh, of quality of you know gaming right here. Granite, yes, I still haven't streamed anything on Twitch or here on YouTube except for just me talking. But we're getting there. We're getting there, and it's all thanks to you guys for you know being so supportive and all that stuff. So again, thank you guys. I really do appreciate all the support and all that. You guys already know who you are. You comment all the time. So thank you again, and well, let's go ahead and battle. Now, still, as I'm recording this, I still don't know what to do for my birthday. I'm probably just gonna, you know, I'm probably just gonna just relax, go and have fun, and uh, do what I want. Pretty much what it is, and eat what I want, or do something what I want. I don't even know, guys. We're gonna be doing a lot in one short fell swoop, but the important part is that you guys get episodes. And it's a uh, fun episode right here. And as you can see, Abby Bomb, Ambi Pom is getting its Ambi Pom kicked. That's right. And well, oh yes. Look at that. Look at that. Now, is it a great thing that I? Oh, uh... well, is it a great thing that I didn't do anything? Or, like I didn't, I didn't play anything else onto my uh, Pokemon, uh, my Pokemon which call it, Brilliant Diamond walkthrough. You know, when I decided to just stop. I was thinking, you know what, maybe I should just play it off screen and and just see what this whole game was all about. And, you know, I, I just really, at that point, I really didn't care until after after the fact that, like, oh, well, you know, that's why I got Shining Pearl and, you know, I can, I can see everything right there. And not only that, but I've been incredibly busy, guys. Very, very busy with what I was doing. So that it really, that really didn't give me enough time to actually play these games and all that stuff. And well, look at this Petal Blizzard. Okay, let's see. Petal Blizzard. What is this? Ooh. 
Okay, all right, and it's a uh, physical. Okay, so let's see. Pedal Blizzard is serves up violent blizzard and attacks around everything. Okay. Um you know what? Let's go right ahead and let's go right ahead and just keep uh, keep the moves because I'm looking at the stats, okay? And it's a special attacker. I don't think it's gonna work for me right here, so I'm pretty sure many of you guys are like, oh look at that! Draven's finally learning how to play Pokemon properly or something like that. I don't know. Or like a competitive uh battler or something. Which is funny, guys, because I've never even com uh, competed. Not once, and I don't even plan to do it because, well, again, no time. No, none, none whatsoever. So, here we go. Now, while I'm doing this, I'm actually watching wrestling, too. Natalia, she's looking fine as hell. That's right. Believe it or not, guys, I actually met Natty uh, right after WrestleMania 32, I think, or 31. I don't know, that's quite a, uh, quite a while ago. But, anywho. Yeah, I'm kind of watching wrestling, so if you guys think that I'm being a little distracted, you're probably on the money right there. So, let's go with Kid Thunder right here. And, well, I'm getting uh, text text messages right now. Uh, da, 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 da. Holy crud, okay. And, well, yeah, that's, that's what happens when you attack me, you know, static hits you. And, well, let's see, he hits the Pokemon two times. Getting hit by thunder or by hail, and, and this is another thing too that I, I don't like about this particular route is that you know we have a lot of hail, and the only way you won't be getting hit by any kind of hail is if you have yourself a nice type Pokemon, which I think I don't have. I don't know. Probably I don't even know. Okay. Look at that. Look at that. Alrighty. And yes, we're getting buffed by hail right here. So again, make sure you bring a lot of healing items. And here goes a pseudo Wudo, so let's go straight for a Hydra. Let's go, Hydra. And now let's see what Hydra can do right here, especially in this in, in the hail. Now, my question is, how is it hailing but it's snowing? Probably because it's made out of ice. I don't know, but it just like it's confusing. It really is. So let's go for a Hydro Pump right here. Hopefully, it actually hits this guy. Yes, Hydro Pump. And just like that, Pseudo Wudo defeated. Yes. Another Pokemon that I kind of feel like should have been a fossil Pokemon is Pseudo Wudo, because it's technically a fossilized crate. And, well, she's coming out with a Ponyta, so let's go right ahead and do it again. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Ponyta, get ready for a Hydro Pump. Hopefully it hits you. And yes, you have avoided that attack, so here comes a Fire Spin, which is annoying. Okay, so let's see. Let's go right ahead and not. Well, okay. Okay. So another thing is that how is hail hitting Ponyta? If Ponyta's main is literally fire. I don't even know. Oh, the Pokemon world. I don't get you, but there it is. Water or you know hydro pump does its trick. There goes Ponyta. I'm happy about that. And yes, uh, what is this? Oh yeah, Shell Bell. It's actually you know, my Pokemon right there. And Trainer Maria has been defeated. Yes, okay. Alrighty. So, let's go right ahead and take on another trainer. Yeah, and just the abundance of trainers, guys. There's just a lot of trainers that are here. It's kind of a... It kind of gets annoying after a while. But, especially right now, since there's like no wild area or no experience candy and all that stuff. Yeah, you kind of need all the training you can get right here. Which is kind of something that... I think I wanted to do off screen a few episodes ago. I don't even know. Okay, so here we have a Sneasel, a Pokemon that I literally wanted to, to grab, but yeah, I saw I saw I, I saw what would happen if I got a Sneasel. So maybe next time Sneasel. Okay, here we go. Flamethrower for the win. And just like that, flamethrower does its trick. Yeah, buddy. Oh, look at that Sneasel. Not so fast anymore, huh? And Kid Thunder grows to level 45. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Okay, so let's get the heck around here. And let's go into this this part, this part right here. Okay, so if you go right here, talk to this individual. Hold on. 
Feel free to take a power nap in that bed. As you can see, this lodge is simply furnished. Do what you like here. Okay, you don't say. And I don't have to. Uh, I don't have thick fat like some Pokemon, so I have to bundle up and clothes can keep warm. All right, let's go ahead and heal up right here. Yes, we're gonna take a rest. And bam, we're healed up. Yes. Okay, so we're feeling refreshed. We're feeling awesome. All right, before we do anything. I gotta do something real quick, guys, so I'll be right back with you. Alrighty, so here we are back, guys. Had to go on a potty break and all that crud. So, uh, yeah. Let's see. I'm getting tempted. I really am getting tempted of, uh, you know, shooting, uh... I'm shoot like, giving, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, toothless a few rare candies. But, again, my gut feeling is telling me, you know what? We should do it the more natural way because we might be needing those rare candies for a little bit later. So yeah, that's probably the, that's probably what you know. You probably have to go with the gut feeling and all that stuff, guys. So here we are taking on Ace Trainer Garrett, and he's gonna be coming out with a Mr. Mime. Hmm. Mr. Mime. That would have been cool to have the Galarian version of Mr. Mime here, but you know it doesn't exist right here. So yeah, it is what it is. So let's go straight for a flamethrower attack right here. Let's get it. Flamethrower. Come on. And that right there nearly beats him, but look at this, burn, it's a tour advantage, and here comes a copycat, so now it has flamethrower, which, well, crud baskets, oh god, yeah, it doesn't really affect us, look at that, we're invincible, and we're getting buffed by hail, and you're burned and buffed by hail too, so, that's a double whammy right there, look at that, that's right, we did nothing, except burn you, there we go, holy crud. Holy crud, there we go, and, well, let's see, coming out with a Machoke, let's go straight for another Pokemon right here. Uh, yes, Pennywise. Now, let's see, there is something that I, I've, I've been wanting to, to say here too, guys. Some of these Pokemon that we have, uh, we, might, we might not be having them towards the very end. I might be switching up uh, from uh, a, a more reliable Pokemon here and there, because, well, you know... This game is kind of crazy. It really does. It gets kind of crazy. Kind of want to finish it for you guys. I think we kind of get the gif of this game. And, well, look at that. Pennywise grows to level 42. How fantastic. And it's learning Baton Pass, which, yeah, we're not going to do that right there. We're not going to do that. Okay, so Baton Pass is not working for us. And there's a hail attack right there. And, well, here comes a Sneasel. So let's go straight for another Pokemon, Infernomon. Okay. Bring it, Infernomon, right here. And okay, uh, so update on the money in the bank thing. Liv Morgan, are you sure you wanna you wanna win it right now? Because she's gonna beat you. Yeah, she's gonna waste your chance right here. <laughs> Anywho, yeah, we're battling. Oh, 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 oh! Ankle lock. She lost. I think. <laughs> Oh my god, I cannot believe that. Oh, 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 she let it slip. Oh, 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 okay, I know I'm focusing on wrestling right now, guys, but holy crud, Liv Morgan just made a huge mistake. No, she's too puny. Ronda Rousey's gonna make her tap. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. She kicks her right in her, uh, in her boob knee. And one, two, three. Liv Morgan is the champ. Let me, let me hear that. Holy crud. And they're going wild. Liv Morgan finally wins it. She's crying. Oh my god, she's crying. And well, Ronda Rousey is being a good sport. Holy crap, she finally did it. The tiny one has done it. Ronda Rousey's like, okay, I see you. I see you. Heel turn. Oh, she gives it the title. Uh-oh, heel turn. Okay, hold on just a sec, guys. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, so I actually thought there was going to be a heel turn. You know, Ronda Rousey being Ronda Rousey. But no, no, Liv Morgan is celebrating. She's crying. You know, 
And she looks fantastic as well, too. Yes, finally. She deserves it. Liv Morgan, if you're watching this walk, uh, this walkthrough, I literally watched you win the championship. Congratulations. Anywho, let's continue on right here. Now, here we are in round 217, and, well, there's another trainer waiting for us. And now, the blizzard's getting a little stronger, so it's kind of annoying. Just a little bit annoying. Let's go right ahead and take on Dalton right here. Now, Dalton is looking like... He, he's got some Pokemon, and well, look at that. He's got himself a Raichu. Good gravy. Raichu. Not like I haven't seen that Pokemon before. Okay, so here we go. It's hailing. Let's go right ahead and use a Flamethrower attack. I seriously thought that was going to be a heal turn, but no, she raises her, she raises her arm. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, look at that. And look at this. Hydra and Infernomon grow levels. Look at that. Okay. And, well, let's see. Yeah, we're getting buffed by hail. You gotta love that stuff. And, well, here comes a Pelipper, so let's go straight for Kid Thunder. Now, there is a little something I kind of want to check out. I will be checking out after this episode. And if it does mean that I can, then I will, and it will be fun, and you guys will love it. Of course, that means if I have uh, that, eleva that, that uh, evolution tactic thingy for... Kid Thunder, because I think it's time to evolve Kid Thunder. We're close to having a full-blown team that is uh, fully evolved and all that stuff. So, there we go. Kid Thunder kicking some butt, taking some names, getting buffed by ice because, well, you know, Hail has something to do with this whole thing right here. And here comes Hippopotas. Don't know how to pronounce its name, but it's Hippopotas. Or something like that. I don't even know. Okay, so there we go, guys. Coming out with Hydra, and here's Hippopotas. Hip... Hippop? Hippop Anonymous? You guys already know where that's from. Okay, and well, here comes the Sandstorm, so that right there changes the weather. Let's go with an Ice Beam, since we are in the ice, and there's a lot of dust coming in. And there we go, Hippopotas has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay, all right. Look at that, and... Well, Dalton has been defeated, which, you know, he's kind of a, a thing right there. All right. Let us move on. So, there is something right here, guys, that you have to understand. There will be uh, hidden items around here. There will be spots like that, which you probably think will, will be hidden items, but really they're just ninjas, ninjas and all that stuff. So, what I'm going to be doing here first is, well, let's see if it works right here. I don't even know, guys. Um... Don't really like the item finder like this because it's like you can't really see the screen and all that. It's kind of a I don't even know. It's just a there, yeah. There's actually no point in actually having this in the middle of the screen or something like that. There we go. Right there. Right there. Right there. There's nothing. Okay. So yeah, not gonna do that. Let's go right ahead and move on right here and. As you can see, this is the reason why I didn't, I don't like this area right here because it's just, uh, you're going through a blizzard and, yeah, blizzard and it's going slow and obviously I'm trying to avoid all the Pokemon trainers right here because, well, we kind of need to grab some items and there's a house right there and I don't know if I needed to waste that, but as you can see right here, guys, Boulder is encrusted in ice. It is bone chilling to the touch, which is true. Well, like I said, I'm trying to avoid the trainers right now, guys, because uh, you know, I kind of don't want to battle them. I will be battling them off screen. And a person, a rare sight. Thank you for visiting. A gift. And we get ourselves a spell tag, which is kind of like a repel. Spell tag, it intensifies a ghost type moves and may serve you well. Okay, never mind. It just intensifies uh, ghost type Pokemon moves. And, well, again, we're trying to avoid trainers. And let's see. Oh, oh, gravy. Well, that was my fault right there. Okay, so here we go. Taking on Lexer or, or Skier Lexi. And she is coming out with her Meryl, Poyopika Blue, and all that crud. And Monfernomon or Infernomon ready to go. I think, I, I think that's what I was going to call it, Monfernomon. I don't even know. Okay, um, let's see, let's see. Yeah, not very effective, so let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right now. Let's go with Kid Thunder. And uh, while we're doing this, I'm going to be texting because, well, I got a text message. 
Why not? Text Draven while he's uh, recording and all that crud. Okay. So there we go. A bounce. Bouncy -de bounce attack. And well, that right there is just going to mess with us. And let's see. Huh. You know what? Let's go with a discharge attack. It might not hit this Pokemon, but you know. It's going to be something. So here comes a bounce attack. And bam! Hits us pretty hard. Doesn't paralyze us. Yes. Yeah, static. Yeah, buddy. Okay. And we're still buffed by the ice, so let's go right ahead and use a discharge attack. Yeah, buddy. There we go. Discharge attack does its trick. And you have fainted. Alrighty, okay. And yes, Toothless grows to level 42. And it is learning Dragon Claw, so let's see what kind of move I should take. As you can see, its attack is, is a strong point right here, so let's see. Oh, gravy. Okay, so... I'm gonna have to take away a Dragon Breath. I get it. It's a, For me, it's a useful move when it comes to, like, paralyzing Pokemon, but, yeah, we kind of need to work with its strengths rather than its weaknesses and all that. So, here comes a Clefairy. Let's go right ahead and not use Rosemond just yet. Let's go right ahead and use Infernomon because, well... Yeah, Infernomon does its trick right here. Okay. So, let's go right ahead. Let's go right ahead and just destroy this person right here. Okay. Alright. Let's go. Clefairy, eat this flamethrower. There we go. Flamethrower for the win. And just like that, defeated. Okay, so there's more points. And Lexer, or Skier Lexi, has been defeated. Now, let's see. Let's go right ahead and see if there's any items around here. Oh, look at that. We found an item. And we found ourselves a TM100 Rock Climb, which will be put onto our Hidden Moves app, which, well, we kind of need, uh, need a certain badge for that one right there. So now if you go in here, you talk to this gentleman. He's like, while I was fighting, or while I was fighting my way through the blizzard, I dropped a TM. He had the move Rock Climb. Hey, what's this? You found the TM. But I already given up the TM for Lost, and you found it. It's yours to keep, my friend. Make good use of it. I like your honesty, though, so let me reward you with this, and we get ourselves an Icicle Plate, which is an actual, you know, you know, another plate that you can actually find Arceus in, or Arceus, or I don't even know, shoot. Even though that Sinnoh came into being. Okay, so cool. Fantastic. Finally. Okay, so there's an, uh, another item right there. We have found a TM07. Hail. Yes. Hail to the chief right here. Okay, so... Okay, yeah, that's not a train... Well, we already defeated that trainer. So, here we are moving forward, and... Oh, crap, Baskets nearly caught us right there. And, yes, we're gonna use another repel right here. And, again, we're gonna try and get away from all these trainers, but no, we get looked at. Like I said, guys, I'm going to battle some of these guys off screen because, well, yeah, you know, I think you guys have had enough of the battles. I don't even know, but yeah. So here we go, taking on Ace Trainer Olivia, and she is coming out with her Rosary, or is it Rosary? No, Rosalia, yes. Okay, so I got the Pokemon for this guy. Let's go, Flamethrower for the win. And Flamethrower does its trick right there. Look at that. Okay. Rosalia has been fainted. Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. And just like that, we get more points. We're getting buffed. That's always awesome. And Seeking is coming out. So let's go with Rosary or Rosemon right here. We haven't used this Pokemon in quite some time, but might as well give it some love. Alrighty. Rosemon. Let's go. Here comes Seeking. And alrighty, let's go with a Giga Drain. And look at this. Okay, look at that. All right, Seeking, you have been uh, you have been uh, Giga Drained. Okay, alrighty, alrighty. And just like that, Rosemont grows to level 46. And we have defeated the trainer Olivia, which you know is always great. It's fantastic right there. So. Let's move on right here. Obviously, you will be finding some interesting uh, Ice-type Pokemon right here, guys. And, well, here we are in the Acuity Lakefront. This is where you'll actually find Lake Acuity. But, unfortunately, we're here to make sure Snowpoint's gym leader doesn't disturb us. 
which is, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty bad right there. Okay, so, let's see, where the heck am I? Oh, God, see, it's, it's spots like that that just gets, gets on under my, or gets in my nerves or something like that. All right, so, grab this, we found ourselves an Ultra Ball, which is always great, and let us move on right here. And would you look at that, guys. We have finally reached Snow Point City. Yes. Snow Point City. And the home of the next gym badge that we actually have to get. And I think there's an item right here. I think, I think so. I don't even know. I don't even know why that's there. Okay. So, let's go right here. And uh, not to the badge, but right here. Because, well, we're going to stop our, our game right here. So, anywho, guys. Thank you guys again for watching. I know. I'm sorry for skipping on a few trainers and all that stuff. But off screen, I will be getting them. Um, let's see. What, do I, what else do I have to say? Nothing. Nothing really, guys. I just hope you guys enjoyed this walkthrough, especially the marathon. In the next episode, I do believe we're going to be taking on the gym leader herself. So just stay tuned for all that. Again, this is a birthday marathon. So, yes. We're going to continue on with this episode right here and see how many episodes I can pump out before the end of the day. So, again, thank you guys again for watching. Make sure to hit the subscription button, the, the notification button. And if you guys want to make a small donation, links are in the description right there below. I will see you guys in the next episode as we take on the next Jim Leader. See you guys.